Okay, a very good day to all of you. Today we are going to learn solving the applications of differential equations in electric circuit using Laplace transform. Example 1, okay, figure below show a RL circuit with the resistance equal to 5 ohms inductance here equal to 0.5 Henry. The voltage is 50 times 1 minus exponent negativity. By applying heat of voltage law, the RL circuit can be modulated as you have the voltage okay, across the inductor VL plus the voltage across the resistor VR equal to the supply voltage ET and VL Okay, the voltage drop is equal to L D I D T. The voltage drop across the VR is I R and equal to the voltage supply E T. Okay, plug in the L is 0.5 angry. R is okay, 5. R is 5. E T is 50 times 1 minus exponent negative T. And then makes the coefficient of BIDT become 1 by multiplying each term by 2 it gets 1 BIDT plus 10i equal to 100 bracket 1 minus exponent negative e. Notice that this is a first order differential equations with continuous function at the right hand side. Then we can solve this first order differential equation using Laplace transform. Okay, and given that there's no current huh, flows through the current as the circuit at initial time t equal to zero, mean i bracket zero equal to zero. So we want to find the current i t from the, this first order differential equation using Laplace transform for white okay, plate given that i bracket 0 equal to 0. Okay, first step takes the Laplace transform in both hand side. So Laplace transform for left hand side, okay, which is di dt, they have s, i s minus i0. Okay, the callbacks, okay, Laplace transform, if for yt you get ys, so i t will be the i s. Okay. So y prime t first derivative, first derivative you have okay, s y s minus y zero. Second derivative y double prime t s squared y s okay, minus s y zero minus y prime zero. So if you have a okay, d i d t means the i prime t, yeah, i prime t, then would be s i s minus i Zero. zero. That's why okay. Laplace transform for d i d t mean first derivative i prime t will be s i s s i s minus i zero. So Laplace transform for i t will be i s equal to hundred times. Okay. Laplace transform for one is one over s. So minus minus here. Laplace transform for exponent negative t is one over s plus one. All that okay. Laplace transform for exponent a t 1 over s minus a. So exponent negative t a is negative 1. So s minus negative 1 become 1 over s plus 1. So 1 over s plus 1. Second step, substitute initial condition i0 equal to 0 because there's no okay, initial currents flow through. So okay, i0 equal to 0 turns left s i s plus 10 i s equal to okay right hand side still remains same and then we can solve for i s I mean factor out i s at the left hand side the term without i s can bring to right hand side but in this case we only have a term with i s only so factor out we have a s plus 10 times i s Okay, the right hand side, okay, we can compose as one fraction by cross multiplications. So we have s plus 1 in the numerator, 
we have 1 times s plus 1 minus 1 times s so minus s. Okay, so s minus s numerator is just left 1. Okay, denominator become s times s plus 1. So multiply by 100. Okay, and then okay, we want to solve for i s, so the term s plus 10, multiply by the term s plus 10, bring to the right hand side, become divide by s plus 10. Okay, for step finds the inverse Laplace at right hand side. So the okay, inverse Laplace for i s, you will, you will get i t. And taking the inverse Laplace at both hand side. So inverse Laplace for i s, you get i t. To find i t, you need to find the inverse Laplace of hundreds okay, time of 1 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 10. So by partial fractions, okay, 1 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 10, we have 3 linear factor a over s plus b over s plus 1 plus c over s plus 10. Okay, and then okay, by cross multiplication and comparing numerator, you get okay, left side is 1, right side, right hand side, you have 1. A term consists of S and cons A multiplied with the other two terms. If A already consists S, then A multiplied by S plus 1 multiplied by S plus 10 here. Okay, for B term, B already consists the term S plus 1, cons B multiplied by S, B multiplied by S plus 10. C okay, already consists of the term S plus 10, C multiplied with the other two terms, which is C times S times S plus 1. Okay, I repeat one more time, see here. If you have three terms, the cross multiplication will look like this. The term A multiply with the other two terms not from A. So A multiply by the red color, S plus 10, S plus 1, multiply S by uh, S plus 10, B, the blue color, B multiplied by S, B multiplied by S plus 10, C, the green color, C multiplied by S, C multiplied by S plus 1. So you get here. Okay, then you're comparing numerator term at both hand side and right hand side. Okay, for the linear term s plus 1, linear term s plus 1, you substitute s equal to negative 1. Because negative 1 plus 1, we have 0. So a times 0, everything will get 0. So same with the c term, negative 1 plus 1 gets 0, the c term gone. Then you can calculate for b. Yeah? So s by negative 1, so negative 1 times b, we have negative b, negative b. And then S is negative 1, so 10 minus 1 is 9. So you have totally is negative 9B. Left side is 1, so negative 9B equal to 1. B equal to negative 1 over 9. Okay, and then for the other term. Okay, the other term. For the S plus 10, we plug in S equal to negative 10. S equal to negative 10. Left side, 1. Right, okay. So, negative 10 plus 10, the A term becomes 0. Okay, the B term, so you have negative 10 plus 10, B term becomes 0. Then you can calculate for C. Okay, S is negative 10. So, we have negative 10 C. S is negative 10. Negative 10. Negative 10 plus 1, you have negative 9. So negative 10 C times negative 9 total is 9 positive 90 C. So C is 1 over 90. And then for the last k parameter, last parameter we we'll let we have a linear term S, then we we'll let S equal to 0. Okay. So when S equal to 0, the B term, B times 0, everything becomes 0. Okay, the C term. C term, similarly, you let the C term okay, equal to S and S equal to 0, the C term becomes 0. Then you can calculate for A, S is 0, this cancel, cancel. So A times 1, 
find tan, so we have 1 equal to tan A. Hence, A is 1 over tan. So plug in the ABC value. A is 1 over tan, so 1 over tan as B is, okay, B is actually negative 1 over 9, so negative 1 over 9, okay, over S plus 1. C, positive 1 over 90 over S plus 10. Okay, and then what we have is actually 100 times of this fraction, huh? 100 times, but what we obtain in the partial fraction is 1 time, so we multiply by 100, because we want 100 times, so from here, we multiply by 100, so mean this one, we want 100, this one is 100, multiply by 100, 100, so simplify it, cancel 10, 10. So the first term we have 10 over S. Okay. So the second term negative 100 over 9 over S plus 1. Okay. The third term cancel get 10. We have plus 10 over 9 over S plus 10. Hence the IT. IT is the inverse Laplace of. Okay. Your IT is actually inverse Laplace of this one. Inverse Laplace of 100 over S over S plus 1 over S plus 10. The inverse Laplace of 100 over okay, S over S plus 1 over S plus 10. So the inverse Laplace of 10 over S, you get 10. Inverse Laplace of negative 100 over 9 over S plus 1 is actually negative 100 over 9. Explode, exponent negative t, the last term, okay, inverse Laplace of 10 over 9 over s plus 10 is 10 over 9 exponent negative 10 t. 10 t. Okay, so this is uh, the first example of the solving application of differential equation in electric circuit using the Laplace transform. In this case, we obtain actually there's a simple RL circuit with RL is a constant value. It gets a first order differential equation. Okay, first order differential equation where the right hand side is a continuous function in terms of explanation term. It takes a Laplace transform at both hand side. Okay, and then second step substitute initial condition. Third step solve for the IS. Okay, fourth step finds the inverse Laplace. Okay, and we find the inverse Laplace using partial fractions. Okay, um, so with this, thank you for attention. And in next video, we are going to continue. Okay, we are going to continue the application of differential equation in electric circuit of RLC circuit. RLC circuit in the next okay, lectures. Okay, thank you. Okay, for your attentions and watching this video.